Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. All right, overall messages, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Your person showing up as temperance energy, viewing you as the Knight of Cups, okay? What you're not seeing is the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Fool Aries energy. And we have the Knight of Swords. So it does look like you have some sort of communication coming in, Libra. Spirit's telling you not to rush into uh, making any sort of decision or maybe even rush into responding to this person. Um, because you have somebody here, I feel, with the temperance energy in reverse. They might reach out when they've been drinking or they're kind of emotionally imbalanced at this time. Um, it feels like they have some unhealed energy Queen of Swords in reverse tells me that, you know, you may not be in communication with this person, um, but the Queen of Swords in reverse is also someone who's anchored in this lower vibrational timeline, someone who's replaying hurt and disappointment. So I do feel like you have somebody who's a little bit angry, a little bit bitter, somebody who's seeing you as a bit of a player, or maybe that you want to be indulged. But with this Knight of Cups in reverse, I think this person realizes that you're not all in, in this, in this connection. And there's definitely been something here, Libra, that uh, it doesn't it doesn't feel good. So I don't know if it's a breakup or there's been a fight or an argument. It feels like with the Queen of Swords in reverse, things got nasty. It feels like this person, though, is a bit emotionally imbalanced. It feels like they're a bit resentful and angry. Um, and they, they're definitely, they have some unhealed wounds here when it comes to you. And I feel like they're coming in, and, and I don't like the full energy in reverse because it's like they're coming in to fight or they're bringing conflict. So just be aware. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so I don't know. Somebody might be holding back an apology because they're still angry. They're still upset. They're still kind of driven by ego energy. I do see that there, there may have been like this may be a newer connection. For some of you, maybe you just went on like one or two dates with this person. Uh, for others of you, you have a bit more history. Um, I also feel too, I'm wondering if this person is waiting for an apology from you, Libra. But a lot of you, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to apologize to them. <laughs> it, I, I don't know what's going on here. It's very interesting energy. So Sag energy in reverse, this temperance energy, it tells me this person, um, I, I don't wonder if this person's a bit impulsive with the Sag and Aries energy coming through in reverse here, Libra. I get somebody that may tend to be a bit arrogant, impulsive, kind of say things before thinking about it. All right. We see Queen of Pentacles. And the three of wands in reverse. For some of you, this person, and it's an interesting message, this person wasn't sharing. Like they may have wanted you to do all the work or they weren't pulling their weight. I know that's a really interesting message to come through. And it's more of an intuitive message. The Queen of Pentacles tells me you have somebody here that looks good, that has, you know, they've built a life for themselves. They have pretty much everything they need. But it's like they're waiting. They're waiting for you to apologize or they're waiting for you to do the work. And maybe some of my Libras, like, you don't even owe this person an apology. So I'm picking up on a little bit of arrogance here or stubbornness on this person's part. Um, there could also be this queen of pentacles that's blocking them. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be an ex, somebody they share assets with. So just bear that in mind because there might be someone here who's influencing your person. All right, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, they're viewing you as a bit of a player. They're viewing you as wanting to be indulged. They're viewing you as having one foot in the door, one foot out. Yeah, interesting. This person feels like you just sort of uh, rushed off in a different direction. They're, I just feel this person is like, this person's like really kind of obsessing over you, Libra, and what happened here. But they are definitely like, it feels like they're angry, they're resentful, they're hurt. They're blaming you for everything. So again, it's a lot of big red flags coming through. Yeah, and they're seeing you as not emotionally available. They do want to come in and offer you an apology or they do want to communicate, but they feel like you might reject them or you're just not emotionally available. This person is waiting to see you. 
So again, they might be like, you know, they might put themselves in your way, like go to your favorite lunch spot. You know, they're going to put themselves like where you like to go out, bars, restaurants, things like that. What you're not seeing is this queen of pentacles. And I feel like this queen of pentacles has a lot more to do with this story than you may realize. Okay. And what's going on. So it feels like it's some sort of interference in this connection. Again, it could be a maternal figure. It could be a friend, a family member. Um, it could be like, um, you know, an ex, it could be a romantic rival. Yeah. Interesting. This, whatever this queen of pentacles is, it's not allowing your person to give fully to the connection. And I kind of feel with the devil energy in reverse, it's blocking this connection. Some of my Libras, you already know that. And I feel like this is confirmation that, I don't know, this situation feels very messy. It feels like your person has some work to do or they need to release themselves from whatever this queen of pentacles is. All right. The full energy in reverse is telling you not to, not to be triggered, not to be in reactive mode. Okay. Again, I do think this person's going to send you some sort of inflammatory message because it, it, it feels like they want to come in and fight, but it's like because they're angry and they're hurt. They want you to apologize. You have love coming in, a love offer. Yeah, from this queen of swords in reverse. It's like an ex or it's somebody who's angry. It's like your person's really emotionally imbalanced here, Libra. With the death card, I'm really getting strong messages here, Libra, that it's most... It's, it's, it seems like it's a good idea to let this connection go or to continue keeping this person blocked. This connection has ended with the death card and we see this knight of swords energy. It looks like you moving in a totally different direction. So I, I feel like those messages are coming through strong. This may be an ex. It may be somebody you were dealing with briefly and it feels like you cut them off. It feels like you were right to do that or you were right to move in a different direction. I feel like this person on like all outer appearances show that they're balanced, that they're um, that they're healthy, that they have everything that they need, but there's definitely something here lurking beneath the surface, or it's just a lack of compatibility here. All right. The signs that I'm seeing very strong are Sagittarius. We also see Capricorn. Okay. Aries energy, but I, and Scorpio, but I kind of feel like it's time to continue moving in a, in, in a different direction here. Um, yeah. So we see that there's abundance. I, I think this person has a lot to offer. Like I said, like on the surface, this person seems to kind of have it all. All right. Um, but spirit saying, you know what, Libra, it's best to focus on you. Um, yeah, focus on you. I feel like a lot of you, it's just like, put that time and energy into you. Not so much in this connection, focus on healing. Abundance is coming to you. I'm not really getting a reconciliation vibe from this Phoenix card, Libra. I'm kind of feeling more like it's time to move in a different direction, that you have somebody who's angry, resentful, they're impulsive, they're a bit arrogant. I think on the surface, they, they come off as, as very different, but I feel like Spirit's saying it's time to move forward, get ready. You know, you might have changed your mind about this person once they showed their true colors. So I feel like Spirit's saying, move, it, you know, you have, you have another love offer coming in. Or you have another option or other options. So I want to see who's who should my Libras move towards or be aware of. Okay, someone who doesn't have any immediate family. Um, this person, okay, may be a parent. Or you might meet this, this other person through family members. Um, this is somebody who has personal time, more flexibility. They could be slightly older. Anything else, Spirit, we can get about this other person? Possibly a Taurus, so somebody who shares that Venusian energy with you. Yeah, and this is definitely someone who may have lost a loved one recently, but I'm also seeing this is someone with that cardinal energy in their chart, which would be Libra, Aries, Cancer, or Capricorn energy. They're comfortable taking charge. They're confident in their decisions. They may be in a management role. So I do feel like Spirit saying, you know what, like this this energy, it's time to leave this, this other energy behind. It's somebody's very angry. I also feel this person, they might block you. They might cut you off a lot. Um, I feel like it's been a bit of a train wreck with this previous connection, but it's interesting. The queen of pentacles energy tells me they do have a lot to offer and they probably come off as being quite, um, you know, having it together and having everything that, you know, one could need, but beneath the surface, I'm just seeing they need to do a lot of shadow work. So I feel like my Libra is your right to move in a different direction, possibly towards this Taurus. Um, let's see. What else do we need to know about this new connection, please? Yeah, so some of my Libras, you're working with affirmations or that may be helpful for you. Um, I also feel that loving words hold great power. So this new energy, it's somebody that you're going to have 
you know, beautiful conversations with really connect uh, on that level. It's going to be healthy. All right. So healthy space and room to breathe. Yeah, because there's something unhealthy about this initial energy that this queen of swords energy in reverse that I'm picking up on. And yeah, so some of you, there might be some delays with this Taurus because responsibilities come first or, you know, whether it's family, whether it's work. Okay. But this is going to be a gift from the universe here. This new, this new beginning. All right, Libra. So I know these messages are, these messages are very interesting. We're still in this eclipse energy. So it's time for big changes and some raw truths to come out. So let me know how this resonates with you down below. Um, keep your eyes, you know, keep, keep going on your path here, Libra. You, you probably already know that this connection I'm picking up on here is not for you, isn't meant for you or, or is definitely off balance and a bit unhealthy. So really trust that. All right. Trust your intuition here. Um, there is going to be a new phase in love for you and it feels with somebody much more balanced and stable, steady and predictable. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.